Hi, it's Marie here again. Today I've come to share a couple of little journals that I've made. These ones just where I use up um, some scrap paper, some offcuts from bigger projects. So I've made these two little, two little journals, uh, just made according to the size of the papers that I had really. Um, they're both covered in this chicken fabric, but one's a, a soft cover. And the other one's made with some recycled card. And I've done that with a rounded spine, which I've never done before, so I thought I'd have a go on a small scale and see how that turned out. So that's that one. So we'll look at the soft cover one first. Um, just a single signature. That was just the amount of pages that I had. Um, it's about three inches by four and a half. It's a little bit longer with the lace trim, but the actual journal size is about yeah about three three by four and a half so it's quite small um I'm not sure of the number of pages but it's got quite a few few pages in there uh, I'll say I've done the chicken fabric and I've covered it um I've hand sewn that uh, together and I've hand sewn this um lace on here this is the type of lace that you get and it's got like a piece of like uh, netting or tulle you know about that about that big so I've cut all around uh, I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do anyway if you use it for something but uh, I've cut it all the way around and then I've sewn hand stitched all this on here just fancy doing some hand stitching I think it was last weekend when we were having some really hot weather so it was neat and too nice to be indoors so I sat and sewed it in the garden right so it's uh, fastened with some a little bit of stretch elastic which is sewn in between the layers I oh, know it's not tell a lie it's uh, it goes across the length of the um, the covers it's glued down and then it's just stitched on the edge to secure it so that just gives a little bit of decoration inside so it's lined inside with the ticking fabric as well and I think I put a little bit of wadding in between the centre here I've done a little a little doily this is one of the doilies I got from uh, from Wendy Wendy Connors Beckett sent me a little little stash of these tiny doilies or I think they might be cut off a larger piece but they serve as like little uh, I mean that's probably what I would do with them anyway if I had a large piece I'd cut them into little little circles like that so that's quite pretty uh, and then to say it's just using up some scrap papers of this particular size that have been cut off the end of uh, other papers when I've been doing different projects um, I've done some lace between the layers as well, so there's a little layer of lace there and then there's the, the lace on the cover. It looks like a double layer of lace on the trim. So this is just some paper from a, a paper pad, from designer paper, which is single sided and it's tea dyed. I've just made a little pocket there. This is a little piece of, um, I think this is ephemera from uh, the old design shop. Some stenciling, some vintage ledger paper, ledger entry paper, just blank on the other side, some lined paper, a little bit of tea dyed with stenciling, some quite a bit of stenciling on the blank pages just to, uh, just to give it some interest. A little sticker there, a piece of designer paper, there's a tuck spot on the back of there, the little piece of uh, this is some Tim Holtz paper, it's folded in half there. Lined paper, craft paper, some more designer paper, it's been tea dyed. A little piece of lace making a pocket there. There's another piece of, um, that's from the old design shop as well, a piece of ephemera. I think I might have shrunk that down actually, I think it might be bigger. But I've uh, shrunk some pieces down to fit these little journals. There's another little bit of the Tim Holtz paper, lined paper, tea dyed and stenciled, and there's a little paper bag that I just folded up to make this like multiple little pockets. So now I've got a little tag, a little journaling card, and on the in the centre of the two of the fold is a little piece of designer paper just fussy cut, and then there's another pocket there with a tag in the back. Uh, just a little piece of ephemera, 
designer paper, stamp slam, ledger paper, that's the sentence from line paper, some more vintage ledger, tea dyed, a little piece of lace made into a pocket. And again, this is the old design shop. And I say, I think I've shrunk them down, I think they come bigger than that. I've just shrunk them down to fit this uh, little journal. Stenciling, and there's the other side of that little paper bag, the same again. It's got a pocket in the front, it's got the centre, and then it's got the back. Just a little tags in and a little journaling card. I think this is from the old design shop as well, that one. For stenciling, a little tuck spot uh, with a receipt. One of these little um, receipts that you get with the um, can't even remember what you call that now, it's that long since we used anything like that. Uh, when you write on that and it comes through on the other side. Can't even remember what it's called. It used to be quite uh, quite a thing on once upon a time. Oh, I just can't think what it's called now. Designer paper, uh, graph paper line, a little corner tuck with a... These are little tags that I just cut. I've got a tag cutter punch for that size, obviously. And I just cut it out of um, designer paper. I think this is... Uh, what do you call it? Um, I can't even remember what that is now. The memory's terrible this morning. Uh, I can't remember what's it called. Just let me have a quick look. I need to satisfy myself um, with what it's called. It's um, Prima, <laughs> Prima paper, and that's vintage Emporium paper. Designer, tea dyed, tea dyed with stenciling, graph paper, and um, sorry, uh, ledger paper. And there's a, at the back here's a little um, little tuck made with the tick in. Another little piece of Tim Holtz. And here I've just um, pinned on a little glassine bag, and this is um, a bag that I was given by Wendy as well. She gave me a little stack of these glassine bags, which are just uh, really, really sweet. And that's just some little pieces of paper in there and just use for, for journaling. So that doesn't quite fit in the pocket, so it's just pinned on the top there. It just goes in the, in the top spot there. And that is the, the back. So that's that little one. Nice and soft and... Yeah... Very tactile, that one. And this one, I said I've made this with recycled card and I've covered it with the ticking fabric. And then I've just uh, embellished the front with some lace, some paper doily, some little paper dolls and some flowers on the front. The back's plain. Um, it's got three signatures in this one because that was the amount of papers I had in this size. And this is about two and three quarters by four and a quarter. The pages are almost the same size, not much difference in it. Um, fastens with some seam binding, which is put through some eyelets. Oh, something just fell out. Um, the inside is lined with some, uh, it's the Prima paper, and a little bit of lace there, and the, the spine is done with some ticking fabric for reinforcement. Tea dyed designer paper. Little lace pocket with a little um, cut out tag with a paper doll. Squared paper. A little um, paper doily made into a tuck spot. And this is some of Mrs. Cog's um, children reading uh, series of journaling cards. And I've shrunk these down to be able to fit in here as well. They, I did, uh, they come on an A4 sheet or an A8 by 11, whatever that is uh, equivalent. And uh, I did this in the A5 size, so it's half the size to fit in here. Lined paper, tea dyed, graph paper. Uh, made a little layered tuck spot there with one of the paper dolls, another little little tag. In the centre of there's some designer paper. So that was the first signature. 
lots of writing space in here, so it's only small, there's a lot of plain papers for writing. A little tag made into a tuck spot with another Mrs. Cox children reading. It's a book, uh, piece of a book page. With a little tag and a little journaling card. That's the end of the first signature. So I think there's about um, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So there's about ten sheets in each signature. So that's that's forty. So there's about a hundred and twenty of these little pages in here. Certainly a hundred plus anyway. Uh, some designer paper. Little uh, tuck spot made with the tickets. This is Cog's journaling card. Tea dyed paper. A little lace pocket and a tag with a little little girl layered on there. Some uh, tracing paper, some ivory paper, squared paper, that's the centre. Another little tuck spot with a little journaling card. That's um, parchment paper, tea dyed. So, so these are just cut offs from, from other projects, which, you know, and it's a really good way. I've made quite a lot of these. It's a really good way to use up your little bits of paper. Uh, there's a little tuck spot with a, with a punch tag. And then finally the third signature against this designer paper. With a little lace pocket and another little glassine bag with a couple of bits inside. There's a couple of bits of paper and a little tag in there. Just fits in there. Squared paper. Plain. And so it goes, it's just like these, um, a lot of these plain papers with a few patterned pieces in. A little bit of layer in there. Um, doily tuck spot. Little punched out tag and that's just a little piece of designer paper folded up there. On the back. It's the same with a little, little lace trim. So yeah, so this this small but perfectly formed. That's what I like to say. And they are um, they're quite cute. I mean, I, I know somebody suggested um, that they would make a really nice little these type of little journals make a really nice little gratitude journal. So that's a really good idea. And you can just you know you don't need to write much. You can just write a couple of lines or words if you wanted to do it as a you know keep a record of anything um, or you could put little little photographs in anything like that so there they are two little um scrap buster journals and they'll both be available for sale uh, probably later today so if you're interested you can look out for them so uh, i hope you like them thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.